We're flipping a house in Long Beach, California, and we just can't catch a break. The roof has to be replaced. Or so it has to be replaced. What's the cost? 8,500. We had to tear down additions. We had to do a repipe. We're replacing the roof. And now the city's requiring us to fix the laundry hookups and install forced air heating. <laughs> I hope that I hope that's firewood. I really hope that's firewood. Nope, it is our new countertop. <coughs> is this? Are you guys mess with me? It's a butcher block. Nobody does butcher block. Honestly, this neighborhood, for reals, has that up and coming vibe. This is what younger buyers like. This is gonna to have to take a stain and a finish. So it's about $500 more than what we typically do. Let's just put granite in. So I think that this is just way better than, obviously we can't do granite, and I feel like even quartz, just because we're trying to keep with that, you know, vintage feel of the house. I think once it's stained and in, you're gonna love it. All right, so apparently I don't have a choice, so let's install it. And I have one more surprise. Oh, come on, now what? If you don't like this, I'm a little worried. Oh. Come on in here. I picked something up. I'm not sure how you're gonna feel about it. Is that for the walls? No, it's for the built-in. That's like no VOC paint, right? Because you're pregnant. Yep, no, it's non-toxic. Zero VOC, okay, perfect. It's safe for babies. I think it doesn't look weird, to be honest. Well, let's just try it out. You never know. I'm not sure I like this. It's awful dark. I don't like it. It's really dark. What, this bothers you more than the butcher block in the bathroom? Not at all. This bothers you? I already gave you the bathroom and the butcher block. Great cabinets right now are super in. It is a unique area. This has more of a vintage vibe. I think it's cool. All right, so you want to do a gray? I think the gray looks cool. There it is, Frank. Let's paint this thing gray. Okay. I know Tark thinks I'm going crazy with design, from paint to butcher block counters to that bold bathroom tile, but I'm confident that these touches will impress buyers. Yeah, buddy. You know what, Christina might be right. These are super cool. Oh wow, that is super cool. You like it? No, I love it. Thanks. Good job, honey. I've got to hand it to Christina. She knocked it out of the park with this design. With the inside coming together, it's time to turn our attention to the outside. What are you thinking about the landscaping of the front of the house? I know the house is a little bit different, so we can just go normal grass, simple, or more a drought tolerant. Okay, so personally, I feel like driving the neighborhood, everyone's leaning towards the drought tolerant. Everyone else, I feel like that has grass is just letting it die right now. That's true. What I was thinking for this house, as far as paint goes, is painting the body of the house a dark gray, painting the brick white, the trim white, and get ready to get excited. I saw a house. Uh -huh. It had the coolest front door ever, but the color was like highlighter yellow, neon yellow. Oh, I don't know about that. I feel like in this neighborhood, it totally makes sense. People like originality, they like things different. I mean, that's- It, it, it will stand out. At this point, I'm all in on Christina's design. I fought her the whole time, but in the end, her choices turned out to be really good. I'm just concerned about our skyrocketing budget. So, I mean, we doubled our budget. After we staged the house, we're into it for over 80 grand. 80 grand? Yeah. Our break even after rehab and commission is 525. Oof. The comps, honestly, they're in the low 500s. Uh, the biggest problem that we're facing is our location, because in this specific neighborhood, we're going up a hill, we're the last house before the main street. So at the bottom of the hill where we are, they're selling for about 500. If you go up the street, there's one comp that just sold for 561. And- Based on that, we're, we're gonna sell for low fives. We can't list at 500. 
So I say we come in at 549,900 and just see what happens. Honestly, it's just really terrible news. And at this point, I don't even think I'll be at the open house. With the pregnancy and everything, I'm going to have to stay off my feet. I just have to handle it on my own. I'll set up the staging and the photos. Maybe there's a shot that'll make it for the open house. We'll try, I mean, that's all we can do. All right. I'm here at Long Beach. We nailed the design. How's the staging look? I'll show you. So this is the living room. Looks so pretty. Something you're gonna love that I was kind of against, but look at the built-in. See, I told you, it looks so much better with that dark gray. Gorgeous. I'm gonna give it to you. You were right on this one. It looks a lot better with all that like brush gone. It feels a lot bigger. House looks great. Good luck today. Call me after. How you ladies doing? Good. 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 I'm Tori. Mary Kate, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Jen, nice to meet you. Well, uh, thanks for coming by. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the house. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom. It's about 1,200 square feet, completely remodeled, and we just put it on the market today at 549.9. I would love for you to take a look around and let me know what you think about the house. I love the built in so a lot. Mm -hmm. And the floors are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. Well, I love this butcher block. This is great. And I like what they do with the cabinetry as well, too. It goes flush all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, that's nice. It just looks very finished. Come on, this would be your room. <gasps> nice. I like that it's close to the master bedroom. Look at I love the floors. Look at the floor. Wow. The double sinks, though, that's so key. Yeah, the bathroom looks really it's so huge. Big. Yeah. This house just flows so well mm -hmm. all th throughout the whole thing. This must be the master. Look at how roomy this is. Isn't this beautiful? It's like a pretty decent-sized closet, too. Not a walk-in, but no, mm -hmm. big enough. It's pretty nice. Yeah. This would be pretty good for entertaining. It seems like there's no grass um, and not a ton of shade, which would be a concern of mine. All right, so you saw the whole house. What do you think? <laughs> we did. We really like it. It's nice. I love the bathroom. Um, if it's only going to have one bathroom, it has to have two vanities. So you've seen other homes in the area, then? Yes. How does this one compare? I think it's really nice. I think it's much roomier. And how do you feel about the price at 549.9? I think it's comparable. You think it's for comparable? the neighborhood? Yes. Okay. Well, absolutely think about it. I would will. Love to sell it. I'll let you know. And if you have any questions, give me a call. I sure will. Thank you so Very much. Nice meeting you. Yeah, that was great. I think it was yeah. so cute.